bumping into moss and rocks, duckweed floating gently on the surface. The stones crest by the water, smoothed by time, and there's peace in the forest. The wind rustles in the tall grass bordering the trees, blue stem ryegrass and oats that traveled from the nearby fields. The smell of lavender needles drifts across the ground, the lovely savory scent that entices you in. The birds that nest in the cedar, soaring through the air, touching clouds and spreading the colors of the sky, blue cerulean and a soft periwinkle, and there's peace in the forest. There's a crackling along the roots of a tall, tall tree, carving deeper, settling into soot, into nothing at all. The smell of smoke winds up the bark of old cedar trees, staining them. Falling branches, falling nests full of chicks. Embers licking at the rocks by the creek, the fish hiding in crevices and the moss singed. White-tailed deer running and jumping over logs, being chased by a wall of flames, and there's a fire in the forest. There's the hissing of dew on leaves being boiled by this inferno, the patterns of disintegrated leaves staining the branches of trees, starlings fleeing from nests of ash, catfish hurriedly swimming downstream to avoid the blaze, a volley of smells that overwhelmingly engulf you, the lavender burned down to the very roots, the fir trees crumbling and cracked, and there is panic in the forest. But there is relief. Soft sounds of rain pitter-pattering on the leaves that remain, washing away the soot and destruction, leaving only the clean bark of trees. The cries of the earth were heard and answered with the kindness of rain. Years later, there are new sprouts, small lavender buds breaking through the ground to be greeted by sunlight, starlings returning to make their nests, deer returning to meet their brand new fawns, and there's life in the forest.